Greetings people, this is Keith and Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using the Forge Mod Loader and the Direwolf 20 Mod Pack. Okay, so we're going to do a number of little odds and ends and then get started with Gendistry. Uh, like I said in the last episode, but let's see, so the first thing I want to do, oh, is, is uh, make another Ender Tank. And I already have the stuff in here to do that. So we do this, only I don't want it to be white wool, I want to use the lime colored wool because I want this. I want this uh, to be storing liquid experience. We'll be transporting it. I mean, oh yes. So I need some pressurized um, fluid conduits, which would be this. Okay, and then I need to get my yetter wrench out. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here to this area, and this is just I want to. Uh, what? Ah, I I um. This thing is still running, so I get more more liquid experience. Um, I took the cursed earth back out because it seemed to be inhibiting spawning instead of uh, causing it to spawn when I wasn't nearby. Um. But okay, so there's, I've been hanging around though, you know, in this area in order to get more liquid experience. And I want to, instead of, um, instead of getting liquid experience, putting liquid experience in this tank, I want to put it directly into, uh, I want to put it directly into, they're getting, they're getting sucked in here. Um, into uh, the, the the obelisk, so we're gonna use this for that. So I think we do this, and this should still be set up. I think. So let's see if this connects. I actually don't know. I guess it does. Okay, and it's, I guess it's already going in there. It looks like it is anyway. Maybe. I guess maybe we should go ahead. Let's so. Um, this way is north. Okay, so north is extract. North is uh, extract, always active. Oh, I could have stayed there. And south is insert. Ah, cool, okay. So there's, yes, it's working. I think, I do believe it is working. Yeah. Okay, now the next thing we wanna do is get all of this liquid experience and put it into the tank too. This is more temporary. So once this is done, there we go. Um, do this one. This is extract. Always active. And this one is insert. And that should slowly disappear, and it looks like it is. That's what I want. Slowly going down. And once that's all gone, we can take this out. And, oh, look, it's... I wonder if it's... Just taking a while for it to... Enter the obelisk. Okay, it's almost gone. And that's good enough. Let's go see how much how much experience is in the obelisk now. It was actually, I think it was, I should have checked this before I came over here, but it, the last time I looked it was, it was 20, um, it was 43, I think. So now 60. And this, I thought that this was holding basically an infinite amount of liquid experience. I guess we'll find out. Um, So I'm gonna break these here. I guess I can break this here too, using my wrench. And that'll do the job. 
so to get the rest of this out, I'll just uh, right click. So or is it actually zero? I guess it's actually zero. Or it's so little it won't. Mm, there's probably a way to fix this. I'm gonna uh, come up here. Let's check. This is close. that is fine. Okay, we can leave this alone for now. And I can think of a go like this. They'll all get on the bottom, and then maybe I can get it out. No? Oh well. I won't worry about that for now. We'll just we'll dump this. We'll put this over here. And put the rest of these. In here. Okay. So that's done. And put this away and this away and Put the ready wrench, the yeti wrench back away. Okay, now, uh, okay. So in order to, to well, let's see, I can make one. Well, it's what well, to make. Real, it's really, um, I guess, the industrial apiaries. I, I read up. I, I watched a video about dentistry to, to figure out how to get started. Um, and uh, the really, the really uh, interesting block to get is the one that allows you to mutate, um, mutate the. Um, bees in a controlled way so you can get you can get you can go towards the species you want more quickly and without you know without a lot of trial and error um and that machine requires diamonds and i am out now i'm out of diamonds i'm out i ran i have no diamonds because i made all these lasers over here and the and this and the assembly table over there <clears throat> that used up a lot of diamonds so i want to go get some diamonds and I'm going to make a device for mining that I've used before. Uh, I might have tried out in a previous series, but I don't think I've used it very much because I didn't find it very useful. But it's possible that it will be usable, uh, use, useful now. I want to find out. And then I will go do mining mostly off camera. Um, so uh, what I want to do is make uh, an excavation focus. Right, so I need an emerald uh, and let's see if I have I have quartz in here do I have an emerald in here oh I have two diamonds in this chest well, that's nice okay so I need an emerald ah cool oh and I'm going to need uh did I yes I did okay I'm gonna need a bunch of experience so why don't we, why don't we grab all of it why not hope I don't die Okay, so we're going to need four nether quartz crystals. Oops. Nether quartz, I guess they're not crystals. Four of those and four of the earth shards. And we'll look again. So the earth shards are in the corners. One, two, three, four. Emeralds in the middle and the quartz is in the sides here. And there is going to an excavation focus. Okay, now, of course, the thing to do is to try to upgrade this thing and see what we can get. Uh, this will make it more frugal. I don't really care about that. Plincy and treasure. This upgrade acts like fortune looting enchantments increases the chance of getting more better loot. Well, first let's increase the potency. It'd be nice if we could do both at once, but... Okay, so this takes ex eight experience levels. And they took them from me. That's why I got all that experience. This shouldn't take too long. Just do the first one. I want to see what. I think maybe I want. Maybe I'll like do three levels of potency and then see what kind of extra goody goodness we get as possible abilities. Okay, here we go. That is one thing I want. We're gonna do that. Okay. Now I'm gonna do this same sort of thing until I get this uh, as as upgraded as I can, uh, and that might depend on how much experience I have. Because once you get you know the next level and the level level off, ugh, the level level after that, it takes a lot. I don't know if I want that. We don't want that. We'll do that. Okay, all right, I'm going to do a cut, and I'll be back when I'm ready to try this thing out. 
All right, I have returned. I did quite a bit of work and got this. Uh, I, I applied five upgrades to this focus. So it's got three levels of potency and one level of uh, enlarge, which increases the area it affects, and one um, level of treasure, which is like looting, right? Uh, I had to go to the end a few times to uh, gather more experience because it took quite a bit of experience to get all those levels. So let's try this out, although I'm thinking I'm thinking there's one more thing we should have on hand that would make things just a little simpler and um, so let's go ahead and make a portal gun. First we need to grab an interpol and smelt it so that we have uh, some dust and that's very fast. Okay and actually I, I cook every once in a while I go and get some chicken. I think I cook it so we got that. Okay so so the first thing we need to do, okay, so we just put this in here. I guess we could just type in a portal. And here is the portal gun. Okay, we need to make a miniature black hole. We have an ender pearl, um, another star in there, excuse me. So there we go. And um, what am I missing? Oh, I need, oh, I don't have any diamonds. Oh, I forgot, I don't have any. Oh, I do have a diamond. I have a diamond over here. I have two. My two last diamonds. Unless there's some diamond hiding out somewhere else. Which is entirely possible. Okay. Now. We can make a portal gun. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's put the excavation focus on this thing. There we go. And grab our portal gun. Let's see if we can remember how to use this thing. First, we'll open a portal here by left clicking. So that's blue. Okay, so now we're going to right click. And we're just going to go here. We have lots of space down here. So um, let's take our portal gun and we'll right click right there. Cool. And now we'll take the focus over here. And that's pretty fast. Oh, you know what I should do is switch rings. Uh, this one. That'll help. Okay. So the purpose of this, of course, is to go looking for diamonds and I'm not seeing any beam. Well, I'm seeing some particle effects uh, bringing things back to me, but not really a beam going out, which is what I would like. And of course, it's a little bit dark. I'm not seeing any damage yet. Well, you can see how this is working. Another, another um, level of others. There, there's that diamond. I believe it is. Cool. Okay, so there's seven diamonds. That was a pretty good hit. Okay, I'm gonna do this for a while um, until I have uh, maybe half a stack of diamonds. Maybe I'm not sure. We'll see. And and then I will come back and we'll see if we can make at least one cool thing from gen uh, so I will be back in a little bit okay I'm back I have been mining with this uh, wand the wand focus of excavation I've had to recharge it I think I recharged it once and I you know I would of course when I get down here you get the weird the weird you know your near bedrock visual thing going on which is really annoying um, so I would just you know wander around I made a couple of different holes here in those in the walls there and there and back and there and then uh let's get up higher and then over here and it just occurs to me you know um when you have when you're when you want to mine stuff from the side here it, you know you use a regular pick and you're it gets really slow because you're flying right but i guess it should be that this is pretty fast well that's the first time it made that noise i don't know why i wasn't making that noise before that's a really nice effect anyway so Having the wand and uh, and, and having a um, 
a ring of magnetization on, or some other kind of magnet. There's some other kinds of magnets <clears throat> from other mods that pull things into you automatically. Really convenient. I guess when it's this, it it does more than one block at a time. If it's if it's a vein of something like gold, that's what it looks like. Like I'm gonna point at just one block. Oh, there it only did one. Maybe maybe it's not for that. Let's see. Let's try this one again. Lapis. Yeah, it did both of them side by side at once. So that works for lapis, but not for coal. Cool. Let's see. Cool. Um, okay, that's enough of that. I was just trying that out. I thought it would be convenient to do the cliff sides. Okay, so let's go back inside and ooh, stuck a little bit. And let's go ahead and try closing up the hole. Oh, you see, I got some, you get experience. You get a little bit of experience, like when you're mining, just like if you were mining in a, with a vanilla pickaxe. Okay, so I take, I take the portal gun. I think I click R maybe? Yes. Okay, cool. So um, we'll put the put this away. I don't have room. Oh, I need a bigger bag or something. Um, and let's get rid of this stuff here. I don't know why all these things moved down. These are all on the top. I must have hit some kind of button combination. Okay. I'll, okay. Um, and you can see downstairs the some whenever I put ores in there they get ground up and processed automatically. Um, okay, so we only have about six or seven, maybe ten minutes if I go a little long. Uh, so let's go ahead and try. Oh, let's see, show how many diamonds I got. I got uh, there was one diamond already in the system because I got that I got those two from the chest in the farmcraft area. I used one to make the to make the portal gun. <clears throat> so I've mined 35, uh, 35 diamonds with my excavation focus so that's pretty good um, so what we want to do is to make um, I want to go we don't really need an industrial apiary since we have regular apiaries at least not to begin with so I'm thinking maybe we should go just try to go right to making a um, a genetic what, what is it called a mutatron now a mutatron requires I've read about this the mutatron requires mutagen, so we might as well go ahead and make a, uh, the mutagen producer, which is this. Okay, so we need all these things, and I have very little of those things. Okay, we don't want the advanced, we want the mutatron. Okay, so, what, what, what? Yeah, okay. Um, so we need two B receptacles. We need a sturdy casing, and that requires a lot of bronze, and I, oh, I have bronze. Okay, cool. And, um... So we have that, and we need, well, let's make this. We need a genetic processor. Let's make a couple of these. So we need some diamonds, pulsating chipsets, and nether quartz. Okay. So um, let's make, uh, let's make 12 of these. Um, so we need some nether quartz. Just, oh, well, I might as well just try and grab a whole stack. Okay, so go downstairs. Oh, and it's almost dark. I don't think we're gonna get too far. Okay, and I probably should, I should probably expand my, my implied energistics network. Okay, so I think, go over here and add in this and this and grab our pulsating chipsets and our redstone chipsets. I'll put these in here too. It'll, this will give us all the options. Okay, so this is what we want, the genetic processor. And I'm betting that's gonna be really slow. Oh no, it's not too bad. As they're, as they're all coming online and getting up to peak power, that's faster. Okay, cool. Okay, let's make a few more components here. Okay, so we're working on a, a mutatron. Okay, so we got that. We're getting those right now. Let's see this, if this is very hard. It's not very hard, so let's get that. Mutatron. Okay, so 
We got there. Let's make let's make um, a stack of bronze. Okay, and then this the power module. We need some pistons. So let's make four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll make ten pistons for now, and. We need some bronze gears. We need wooden gears. Let's make 22. We need more sticks. Well, that's enough for now. Okay. Um, there's so many different kinds of gears. We want the... Will that be? Yeah. Okay, there we go. So let's make a whole bunch of those. And then... Oops, not that this no not that dang it this okay so now this we want these okay 24 of those cool um <laughs> well you know there's all these different recipes for gears so you have to like wait for the right one to come up for the what you're trying to do that's kind of annoying okay um so we should be able to make some of these five okay cool those those are needed for other things so it's okay if we make extras um we have, so we need more bronze. I don't. I guess I used it all up. So we want the force, the f this one. So we'll make another stack of that. Okay. So, so what do we need? We need. We need B receptacles. Uh, what? What are we missing here? Oh, we need some of these. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 B receptacles okay and now we we just need some of those whatever they are called I don't know what they're called genetic processors we only got six Wow oh that's right it was two I used 12 diamonds and it was two diamonds plus the other things okay so these are a little bit expensive, two diamonds. Okay, so put, whoops, not that. Put one of those in there and we get a Mutatron, whoa. A Mutatron, actually, uh, well, we need to make the, uh, we need to make, this is not usable until we have the mutagen producer. I forgot about this, mutagen producer. So we need a hopper and and another one of these and any more of these do i have any glass i have some glass okay mutagen producer this i need a sturdy casing and any more bronze can i go like this no uh, mutagen producer. Oh yeah, I gotta make the casing first. Okay, mutagen producer. This. There. Okay, those are the two things we need to mutate our bees. Okay. And of course, the timer did go off. We need to have run out of time. I think I will prepare an area over here. I guess, how much, how much? The thing is, these things take a lot of power. Um, I'm, I can get power from my, from he, through here. I wonder how much does it, how much can it send? It doesn't say here, so I don't know. I suppose I should assume it's illegal. I mean, excuse me, illegal, uh, unlimited. But I don't know that. Of course, it would be limited by the the cabling. This is uh, energy conduit. It's not the it's not the kind that's down here. So there is a limit there. Six hundred and forty RF per tick, I think. So I am thinking of making a, another power, another way to, pr to produce power for this thing. For these machines. 
So anyway, so the next episode, I'm going to, in between episodes, I'm going to build some kind of structure here. Maybe, maybe I'll show the beginning of it in the next episode, and then I'll build it off camera. I'll cut down some of these trees, and I have to, I just have to decide. I might do it, another one of these, something similar to this out of some other material. Uh, so I just have to make up my mind about that. And, uh, and then we'll set down these two machines just made, and we'll see how hard, how easy, how simple it is, whatever. I have a bunch of bees in here that I've already, you know, that are already made by by using these these you know regular old forestry apiaries so we'll, we'll get started on seeing what how hard it is to mutate um, how hard it is I'm just running around how hard it is to mutate um, the uh, bees to get the kind that you want I'm using a regular there's a there's a the mutagen um, whatever what's it called the mutatron and then there's the advanced mutatron I might we'll try the mutatron for a while and we might upgrade it to an advanced mutatron to see, just to see, just to see how, how big a difference there is. <clears throat> anyway, so we got to wrap up. This has been Keith and Modesto. There's my house. Um, this has been Keith and Modesto playing um, modded Minecraft. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.